Welcome back to the arena. I'm Michael Corrin. Muscular Christianity. Well, not me. Kevin Fass. Uh, the world's strongest priest. And he's Canadian. He loves God. He pulls planes and buses. And if you're an atheist, you better keep your distance. Welcome <laughs> to you. Oh, thank you. Uh, now, you, ha you have a collar un underneath that beard. Yeah. What denomination are you? Lutheran. Lutheran. Uh, even, evangelical I'm, or Missouri Synod? I'm Missouri. Oh, the Conservatives? Very. Or known as uh, Misery Synod, I hear. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what uh, yes. Martin Luther would have said. You know, I mean, you, uh, I, you see, there's a big piece about you here in the Daily Mail newspaper in Britain. You didn't even know what it was. This is about, I don't know, seven, eight million readers of this wow. newspaper. You're in the Guinness Book of Records? Um, currently, I hold 21 Guinness World Records. 21? Yes. Such as? Um, well, it, there, 20 of them are in strength, uh, whether it's lifting people on my back, yeah. um, pulling trucks. Um, I pulled a house. Hey, this is, this is cool. <laughs> I, I pulled a house, the same size as the one I live in. There it is. And uh, it's a, a three-person house, and, uh, or three-bedroom house. You had no hair. And... That's when I was young and good looking about two years ago. And you're pulling a house. And uh, we raised $65,000 on that day for Habitat for Humanity. That's which, wonderful. So um, pulling things has been great. And the greater thing is that we get to uh, raise a lot of money for good charities. Yeah. W were you uh, a man of God who started to work out and get strong or a strong man who became a man of God? Um, well, here's how I sort of uh, see myself um, I've always been in the church, and uh, I've been a full-time pastor for my, my all, all my adult yeah. career here. And uh, um, the way I view it is, God gave me this gift, and what do you do with the gift of strength? I'm not sure in this day and an age. Yeah. Um, so um, I got into setting world records and um, raising money for charities. So yeah. it, it's been a, a real fun and rewarding and beneficial goal. Well, th th we yeah. have to find new ways to... to speak to people about God and faith, and uh, it, it, I cringe a bit because a lot of Christians believe that if, if they play what they think is contemporary music, which is always about 20 years out of date, yes. then young people get very excited. They don't. No. Uh, but, I mean, this is interesting, and I mean, you're not that big. I mean, how, how tall are you? I'm only 5'9", and uh, I actually, in uh, strength circles, I'm a shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I'm, well, I happen to be 300 pounds, but only 5'9", which is both stats are really small for uh, strength athletes. Yeah, because I see World's Strongest Men and so on TV, and, and, and yeah. they're often they're huge guys. Yeah, and these World's Strongest Men, uh, you know, when they pull something, it's usually about 20 ton, and I've been fortunate enough to pull stuff 208 ton. So. 208. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I've really, uh, this, this is a gift because I can't take credit for this kind of stuff, and, uh, and the thing, here's my deal, the thing about a gift is, the way you give thanks is you use it and enjoy it, and that's what I'm doing. It's wonderful. Are you in the gym a lot? Um, well, most people think I just go to the gym to chit-chat, but uh, I do <laughs> lift weights while I'm there as well. Yeah, yeah. But um, my main training is, um, for example, I have a platform in front of my house, and right. I ask my neighbors to come visit me, and I lift them up for my part of my workout. And I also, um, oh, that's some of my family. And I also uh, pull my truck up hills. Ezra Levant does that as well, Lena. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that, it, it's incredible. Knowing one of my, my, my uh, sons was uh, into weights and sort of bodybuilding to an extent, more just you know, getting very strong after he stopped playing rugby. And I mean, he was in the gym every day for a long time. I, oh, I knew no. the work involved. It seems that you, ha you, you say you have a gift. It, it seems to be something which is just given to you. Yeah, um, I've been I've been taken to a university so to figure out why I can do what I do, yeah. and uh, um, they say a lot of physiological things are happening. Like all my muscles happen to be fast twitch. I can ha I happen to be able to recruit them all at once. Mm. I can release adrenaline on the spot. Just all these things miraculously come together. Yeah. It, the way it's likened is to a, a lady who's car is on top of their child and they can all of a sudden miraculously lift the car off yes, their child. Yeah. Well, um, the way this university said is uh, uh, the deal with me is I can just do it anytime I want. And hey, that, that's a pretty cool gift. <laughs> no, I don't want to be intrusive, but in terms of people who come to your church, um, and the Lutheran church, like any sort of fairly mainstream denomination, is facing challenges. Do you find the numbers are greater? Are people coming in because they, they want to hear you and see you? 
Uh, no, that hasn't happened at all. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's the same old thing. Uh, try to be faithful to preaching the Word yeah. of God the way, uh, uh, you know, to the pure gospel. And uh, whether people come or not, um, my strength really hasn't changed that yeah. Yeah. kind of thing. Um, Eric Little, of course, who um, oh, yes. the great uh, uh, runner from, from Scotland who won the gold medal and a very uh, devout Christian. There used to be a man who, who played fullback for England at rugby and, again, a very devout evangelical Christian. And um, there, there have been quite a few. There's, there's someone in Canadian history, though. Uh, is it Louis Sear? Louis Sear is uh, one of my heroes. And he, he was a very, very strong man. 1863 to 1912 were his dates, and uh, he did the backlift. That's what got me. Uh, there he is there. I resurrected the backlift because of uh, really? knowing about his. And he was, I, I assume, French Canadian from Quebec? Yes. Yeah. Very, uh, and uh, very, a very devout uh, Roman Catholic. Really? He, he was a great story. Um, yes. And you mentioned uh, Eric Little. Yeah. My wife's grandfather did the eulogy at his funeral. Really? Yeah, so we got a connection there. With well, I know he's, um, I think it was his uh, niece or his daughter-in-law lived in uh, somewhere in, in Ontario, I, I know. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. A lot yeah. of Scots, of course, uh, yes. settled here. Now, of course, I, I, I'm Catholic, so I could argue with you about, I don't know, uh, salvation by, by faith alone. And <laughs> what came first, the church or scripture? But, you know, I don't think I will argue with you. Whatever you say is correct. I don't... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, it's, it's wonderful. So you're, you're, you're a great example of, and by the way, you were clean shaven at, at one point. Why, why the, uh, I mean, it's wonderful. I wish I could grow that, but why the yeah, beard? Yeah, um, but the past few years I've been uh, portraying uh, St. Nicholas, right. Santa Claus, all that kind of thing. And actually I, I'm pretty active at it when yeah. the season comes up. Excellent. And hey, and it's a great way uh, people think, oh, Santa Claus and conflict with the church and all that. But, it, no. you know, when somebody's hurting or something like that, I can say, hey, we love you. I can pray for you. And yeah. it, it yeah. really works out. The church, I think, includes all of this. There yeah. isn't any competition or contest at all. Sir, great fun. Thank you very much indeed. Hey, thanks for having me.